Good day and welcome to Partakers Monday Think Spot. Today is June the 1st. Reading from Romans chapter 8 verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Notice how the Apostle Paul turns his back to the world and his face to the future revelation as if seeing no suffering anywhere but all joy. Even if it does go ill with us, he would argue, what indeed is our suffering in comparison with the unspeakable joy and glory to be revealed in us? It is too insignificant to be compared and unworthy to be called suffering. We fail to realise the truth of these words because we do not see with our bodily eyes the supreme glory which awaits us, because we fail to grasp fully the fact that we shall never die, but shall have a body that cannot suffer nor be ill. If one could conceive the nature of this reward, he would be compelled to say, were it possible for me to suffer ten deaths, by fire or flood or virus, that would be nothing in comparison with the future life of glory. What is temporal suffering, however protracted, contrasted with eternal life? It's not worthy to be called suffering or to be esteemed meritoriously. In this light, the Apostle Paul regards suffering and he admonishes Christians to look upon it in a similar manner. Then shall they find the infinite beyond all comparison with the finite. The suffering of the world is always to be counted as nothing, measured by the glorious and eternal possessions yet to be ours. If you propose to be a joint heir with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not suffer with him, to be his brother and are not like to him, then Christ certainly will not at the last day acknowledge you as a brother and fellow heir. Rather, he will ask, where are your crown of thorns, your cross, the nails, the scourge? Whether you have been, as he and his followers ever have from the beginning of time, an abomination to the world. If you cannot qualify in this respect, he cannot regard you as his brother. In short, we must all suffer with the Son of God and be made like to him, or we shall not be exalted with him in glory. Thanks for joining us on Partakers. This has been an excerpt taken from devotional readings from Luther's works for every day of the year by the Reverend John Sander, which is in the public domain. Come back every day to www.partakers.co.uk where there is something uploaded to help you as a Christian disciple, wherever you are in the world in the 21st century. See you later.